Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows 10, Windows 11, and I believe there's even some older operating systems that you can install. And we're going to do this using this application here called Rufus. If you just head on over to the website, it is just rufus.ie, and I have put the link down in the description below. So once you guys are there, um, you can just click, I believe you can click download here, but I like to go down here and look at the latest releases. You'll download this first one here since that is the newest. You can also download the portable. So if you don't want it installed on your system, don't really use it that often. Portable uh, version is just fine for you. So once you get that downloaded, let's minimize this. I've already got it downloaded here. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up to run it. And once you do that, you are presented with the interface here. Now, some of you guys just downloading it may initially get a pop-up asking you if you wanted to check for updates. Um, that's up to you if you do that. I went ahead and did that when I opened mine. And um, so up to you. So this is pretty easy to do. Um, you'll need a flash drive. I believe you need at least an 8 gig. As you see, I have a 32 gig in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that one's selected. Um, for your next boot selection, um, there's multiple options here um, that you can choose from. But we're going to go ahead just to make a bootable to get Windows 10 or 11 installed. We're going to choose disk or ISO image. Over here, we're going to do this drop down um, and we're going to hit download. Essentially what's going to happen is it's just going to install on this flash drive. So if you go down a little bit here, this talks about your flash drive that you have in there. You can see this is 32-bit. This is the current file system on it, um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, proceed. Now, when all this is selected to proceed, you just click the download button here. And then it will ask you what version. So as you can see, um, we can do uh, the UFI shells. Um, of course, we're going to bypass that. But if you want to do Windows 8.1, you could. And uh, We got a Windows 10 or 11. I'm just going to do Windows 10. And we're going to continue on that. And then it's going to ask us what release of Windows 10 do you want? There's only one here. I believe that is the newest. So that's selected. And we're going to. Continue. Now it's going to ask what edition. And I think there's only one in here. Yeah. This is uh, Windows 10 Home or Pro or Educational. But continue on that. And then, of course, language. So pick your language and hit continue. And then, last but not least, is architecture. So if you guys have a 32 bit computer, you might want to check or use uh, select x86 here. Uh, but most of you will probably do the x84 for a 64-bit system. And I'm not going to download using a browser. I'm going to leave that unchecked. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. And then it's going to ask you where you want to download it to. Uh, my default download location is desktop. That's where I'm going to save it. And as you can see right here, this will be your progress bar of the download and how it's going fast it's going. This will depend on your uh, internet connection. Um, I've got a pretty decent connection, so it seems to be going pretty quick here. So I will check back in when this is done. Okay, guys, you see that is coming to an end there. Um, it looks like it took one minute and 27 seconds. Which... Okay, so we're going to go back through this stuff here. This was already selected that we downloaded. So you don't really have to do anything up here. Uh, the partition scheme, all that can default. But when we come down here to format options, it's going to give us the option to, I believe, change the label here. So I'm just going to wipe this out, and you guys can leave it default. I'm just going to put it as Windows 10. And NTFS file system is definitely what you want. Your cluster size really should be 4096, but you can change it here. I recommend staying with 4096. Now, this quick format here, if you uncheck this, it's going to take a lot longer to format the drive um, or your flash drive to put the, the Windows installer on it. 
So if it were me, I would just leave that check mark. It still does a low level format. And you that. So once all of your options are here and you've changed your Windows label, if you choose to do that, you simply click on start here. Now it's going to bring up another thing. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to create a local account with a username. And this just means when you use this USB to install Windows, this can automatically customize all that for you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave all these unchecked because I like to do that myself. Uh, but if you guys want to do that or any of these other options, here, feel free to do so. Um, there's no right or wrong on it. Um, so I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to give me the warning that all data on this device, meaning the USB, will be destroyed. So make sure there's nothing on that USB that you don't want to keep. And then once that's the case, you're just going to hit OK. And now it will go through the whole deal down here with the format. It will put the uh, file system and install files and copy all the files onto that flash drive here. Now, this will take a couple minutes, um, but it should go pretty quick if your system's pretty decent and up to speed with uh, some good hardware. And so I will check back in with you when this portion is done. All right, as you guys see, we are just completed now. Look down here, it took 11 minutes and 46 seconds. So it looks like at this point, um, everything is ready to go. If I pull up, up, we go into that drive, you see everything is there. So at this point, all you have to do is pop this in the computer that you want to install Windows on and boot it up. In your BIOS, make sure that it's set to boot from a USB drive and then from there. So at this point on here, you can actually just click close because you have created your drive. So it's as easy as that, guys. 10 to 15 minutes to create a USB bootable uh, Windows installer using Rufus. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to click that thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, guys.